Hello, no one, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last video, we did some random shit that I honestly couldn't tell you because I forget, because I had a two-hour recording session in which every second of it was absolute agony. So I can't remember exactly what happened in episode four. But to summarize what happened in those two hours, here's this little compilation of it. In a case I can't actually be bothered to put that together, the only thing that you need to know is one, we have a new gun, which... I'd hesitate to actually call a gun because this does not look like it would actually work. But two, the difficulty has been decreased from normal to uh, very easy, which I was hesitant to do so, but at the same time, the very easy in this, with this mod pack, is basically, you know how very hard in America is like, you know, pretty fucking difficult. Yeah, in Japan, that's easy. That's the sort of situation we're dealing with right now. Oh. They really do traveling herds. <laughs> Hell, because I think they have to. Um, is that Gecko Hunter interested in me? Nope. Oh. Okay, I was about to fucking say. Well, at least I got some uh, gecko hides to sell. I have one gecko hide to sell. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, uh, at the end of that two hour recording session, I just barely survived a, uh, a gunfight with just two guys. Yeah, like I said, very easy. It is not really that. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh. I really didn't like doing that, because that just reminded me of something that I should not have seen when I was younger, which was my dad. I hesitate to say execute, but he had to shoot a uh, uh, fucking possum with a BB gun. And uh, let's just say that it took more than a few shots. And for some reason, I sat there and watched. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was not a fun day. Anyways, the plan for today's video is to head into Prim and just fucking try and do something. Because honestly, like, it... Look, I may have survived a gunfight with two people. And against a few geckos. But, um, it, it's it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. Like, I, I, I have no other way to put it. I... <gasps> Jesus Christ! That actually scared the fuck out of me. And I have no idea why. Like, it just popping up. There was The music wasn't very scary. It was just this fucking screen popping up. I just was not expecting it. Most of the XP that I got uh, for this level, because uh, I was at like 450 when I started, uh, and at the beginning of this episode, I was at like 710, I believe. All of that XP was from me playing Caravan. So, and uh, by the way, never playing it again. Uh, all of this, I'm, I'm, I need, I need it. I just do, like, I really fucking hope that this has some sort of... I probably should say before I do this, but I, well, I fucking can't anymore. But, like, I really hope this makes a difference with the guns, because if it doesn't, I'm so fucked. Please tell me it does. It does! Because before, the submachine gun was only doing uh, 69 damage per second, I believe. Now it's doing 75. So that is good to know. Finally! Progress is maybe being made. Sansa, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I didn't realize how open these would be. Well, we got some caution and some gunshots somewhere. Okay. Well. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I'm just going to uh. Wow, that worked a lot better than I think it had any right to, but oh well, I'll take it. Uh, oh. Wait. Were those... I'm fucking sorry. Did the Powder Ganger just run past the entire fucking NCR guy? Music has stopped. Ah, they do actually hate them. Good, good. I'll take that. Uh, Varmint Rifle, I will take. Oh! One other thing I fucking discovered, because I think I did it in that two-hour session. Was that in order to actually fucking get this shit to be somewhat useful? You can do it here. 
You don't need a weapons repair kit. I thought you fucking needed that, but no, you can just take two fucking weapons that are the same and glue them together somehow. I don't fucking know. I don't know jack shit about guns, and that is out of my uh, range of knowledge, so. Anyways, I'm gonna quick save because we have finally made progress. Another environment rifle. Everything else there. To this day, I'm still not 100% sure on uh, what the black bar in the condition meter means. But all I know is that we are finally surviving and making progress. Already looted that house. Fucking music gets me every time. Um. Oh, I think I know why it's doing this. Because before I was able to enter this one. If this one is red, I know exactly why. Oh. Maybe it's because the sheriff is dead and the deputy isn't? Possibly. Let's just quick save. Nothing. Okay. Right, nothing worth actually taking in there. Didn't lose any karma, I don't think. But from what I can tell, the karma in this game is a bit iffy. Because the uh, gunfight that I had was past this wall, uh, like, over there, so, I believe. Hmm. Well, this is a predicament. Ow. Yes, I did kill- Hello, there we go. Um. Fuck him, might as well. Luck is on my side! Yes! Yes! And there's, um, front of stick. And some pistol powder. Nice! We're finally making progress! Oh, it feels so good. It feels so weird being able to actually, you know, do shit now. Like, yeah, th this. Let me get this straight. This is still no walk in the park, but, uh. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh fucking K. Um. I, <laughs> nope, I, I don't want to wait. I want to. Hmm. Don't know what the fuck is going on with that guy. Uh, but I had that gunfight up there in which I just barely survived. Um. And the house is here. I don't think I actually went into this one. I'm not going to. Well, there might be something that's actually useful in here. I pretty much just grabbed whatever the fuck I could uh, from in these buildings. And all of it is pretty much considered stealing. See? I lost karma. Um, do I really care about it at this point? I, I don't really know what it actually affects. I don't know if it actually, like, changes the loot or what it actually does. I'll probably look that up after this video, actually. Uh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I can do it right now. Uh, selection of all good and evil choices made by the carrier during the game. How they are perceived by the inhabitants of the wasteland. Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm no longer stealing anything. I can say one thing that really fucking annoys me is that this game, even the lowest sensitivity, is way too fucking high. Oh, hello. Oh. I shall take all of that, actually. Yes. Literally all of it. Motherfucker. I- Okay, I was about to say. Oh. You know, I gotta say, after all of the suffering that I've had to endure for the past, like, episode, and I guess the episode you didn't see, I don't know. No separate view, what the fuck does that do? Uh, basically, I've suffered through a lot, and now that I'm actually able to do this shit, uh, and get to pop the heads of anybody who stands in my way, it's, uh, quite nice. Uh, guns plus ten. Alright, then. Really could've fucking used that at any point in the last two and a half hours, I guess. Why the fuck is there just a gecko here? What the hell? Oh... Okay, I'll read that in a second, but I can indeed go in here. Um, let's not have that put away. <laughs> uh, 
uh, damaged robot. I'm guessing this is something I can repair. It was an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have been uh, seen a good bit of action. There's very little in the way of serious damage. Uh, examine it? A few of the primary electronics systems seem to be fully functional and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary systems should compensate and make some of the repairs easier. Try to repair some servos and gyroscopes need to be recalibrated and replaced, but it looks as though the robot can re uh, be repaired. 65. Fuck! Okay, well, we'll, we'll leave it alone. Oh, well, well, no, well, not, what, not what I need to do. Oh, don't you fucking dare tease me with this shit! I'm a good boy, I don't steal anymore. <laughs> Alright, before I actually forget, let's read the, uh. Oh, yeah, fuck, fuck you. Seems to be the exact same. This one was two oversized dife. Dife? Dice? Composed of fuzzy material. It's the exact same. I do remember that we talked to the dude uh, inside this building. He said it was a sheriff robot. Or cowboy robot. Something like that. I originally thought that was, uh, that was Victor. Because he definitely don't seem the... Uh, uh, definitely don't seem to be the most trustworthy guy around, but there was one inside the building, so it's a good chance that he was just talking about that one. I don't think I need to do anything in that building, so I guess we just head to the, uh, to the casino. Uh, I'll head back around to the, uh, entryway that I went in before and got killed. Might as well. Oh! For some reason, I thought this went through the building, but now it makes a lot more sense that it would go in above it. Some binoculars. I don't think that really serves any purpose. Uh... No. It's... It's not bad. I guess if something's really far, then it would make sense, but... Man... Uh... Um, I don't know if there's a door down here that I can just enter. Uh, well, there were, but they were boarded up. Um, I didn't loot this guy, have I? No, I get a notification every time there's a comment, so I know people haven't been screaming at me like, You fucking idiot, this is how you do the thing. Like with repairing the weapons and whatnot. But I'm sure there's someone who actually knows anything about this game, and it was just like, this fucking idiot. The only thing I can ask is that you bear with me, because... Well, I'm not gonna argue with you. I am a fucking idiot, and I also have no experience with this game whatsoever, so... I need as much leeway as I can get. I've got you now. <gasps> We're gonna pretend that never happened! Why the fuck is he here? The fool! Hey, stop! Hmm. Okay. Things have gone south quite fast. I'm him once again. Somehow. Uh, Overpressurized ammo. That's interesting. Let's see our dog tag. And yeah, might as well. Um. You know what? This shit might actually be better than the armor I've got. At least the helmet will be. Which, I do like wearing the, uh, wearing the entire sheriff's hat. Because, well, I do have the entire outfit going for me. But it also looks like that on my head. Which I'm, I will, uh, I'll, I'll just deal with not having it. Um, I know we shouldn't be going for aesthetic, but, like, Why? Why would, of all things, a fucking duster have a better damage threshold than literal military gear? I'm fucking... whatever. I'll take it, but I'll probably drop it first chance I get if I need to grab something else. Ah. Alright, environment rifle is almost 100% of the way there. Um, I'll go ahead and just 
do that, because that'll put... I believe the amount of condition that this weapon has would be added on to whatever the one that you're repairing has. I think that's how it works. Probably not, but, you know. Very easy like Oh, Jesus. I forgot what lap picking in this game looked like. Okay, they're dead. Good to know. Uh, nothing in the suitcase, nothing in the that. Uh, nothing, nothing. I'll take that. Reward buy. Don't need. Oh. Um. Rattle me bones. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like very easy is just way too easy, but also considering the uh, normal difficulty was a fucking nightmare. I'm fine with this. Okay, I'm just gonna. Ooh. Okay. Uh, t t t oh, oh, take that, take that. Take that. Oh god, he's just stuck there. Okay. Oh, it's only getting worse. Okay, come, come, come. Uh -oh. Foul demon. Foul demon. Nothing is happening. Uh, no, I don't have the suppressed gun. I might have... Actually, no, I was seeing how much, uh... All the shit in Chet's shop that I wanted to get would cost. Uh, it cost about 18k. Which is why... Sexy sleeper? What? <sighs> Am I... Fuck it. Why does it look like I have abs all the way up there? I mean, I do, but, like, still. <laughs> Another cap added to the collection. Uh... Inhuman reactions. <laughs> I, I just didn't fucking react. Hmm, it seems like I was shot in the face. Should I do anything about the person who is pointing a gun directly into my face? Mm, nah. Wait. Okay. Uh, j look, I, I've taken enough chances already. I. Is it even higher floor? Probably not. That might just be decoration. Uh, oh, I don't know. Take that. Uh. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I can't actually get up here. Aha! Oh! Is that burst? Got the 5,000th time. Okay. Uh, hooks on cabinet key. I'll take that. <gasps> Ammo for the Magnum! Yes! Yes! Okay, uh, hold here. Oh, was I the. Ah, that would explain it. Okay. Actually, how much ammo do I have for the Magnum? Enough. Well, actually, I can two shot uh, anybody. The, just a 9 mil, so. Yeah, I'll probably just go with that. What's in door number whatever at this point? Nothing. I guess the only way to go is here. With the eyeballs all over the place. Don't ask why I said it like that. I was, um. Doing my text? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I couldn't think of anything. Will this lead to outside? Uh, no, it's an elevator. I'm not gonna call for the elevator. That might cause some, some suspicion. Uh, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. There we go. Anything worth taking in here? A cup. And a conductor. Literally nothing fucking up. What is the point? Why was it locked? Alright, I'm gonna just head back to Primal shit, sell all my stuff, because I got... Oh, hell. I didn't realize there was a tire iron in there. Uh, but I'm nearly full on weight, so I'm gonna just get rid of some of it. Actually, while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna get something out of the way. Oh, I'm so sorry, Trudy. She has two health. Please, let me hey, fucking heal you. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I wish to heal you. Please. Why can't I fucking... Hold on. I have the power of technology on my side. I could look up how the fuck I heal people in this game, because I don't know, and I don't want them to die. Can I at all? Well, through console commands you can, but I, I, don't, I don't really want to bother doing that, because, uh... Be careful out there. I can't be bothered, really. Um... God, I fucking hate seeing that every time. Did that look... Can they actually die? Oh, that... That doesn't make me feel happy at all. I think I was in the middle of saying that I was going to tell you something, so I'm just going to say it now. 
I may have something new coming up in terms of the channel, because uh, I had an idea. And we'll just see how well it works out, because I'm not 100% sure on how it's all going to work out, but, you know, I got the idea, and therefore I'm going to do it. Because it took me until that two-hour recording session for me to be like, Hey, I may have recorded it. I don't have to actually upload it. That was very liberating for my mind, I just gotta say that. Uh, I believe the conductor is some electronics part sort of thing, so I might need that for the robot that we saw earlier. So I'm gonna just keep that on me. Oh, it weighs five. Oh, I'll find a place to store it or something, I don't know. Oh, a gecko egg. Does something happen with that eventually? Like, does it hatch, or is that just like a thing that exists? I'm not going to sell it. I'm just not 100% sure on if I'm going to keep it, so... I want to see how many bullets I can make. Uh, 12 of them. 15 of them. I think I might make magnum amp. Well, the 9 mil. while I do like using the magnum and the idea of using the magnum, I do think that the 9 mil is probably going to be my main weapon for now. Like, I could use the SMG, but the problem with that is that it uses up way too much fucking ammo, so, uh... I... nah. Just nah. I... So, I have 51 weight, which is, um... It's fucking music. God damn it, game. Fucking stop doing that shit. Seriously. I hate it. Actually, I just realized in the two-hour recording session that I had, uh, I believe I got rads at some point. Hell, I got rads earlier in this video. Uh, yes, I have three. I think. Sure. Seems like I can go up to 1,000. I'm assuming at, like, 1,000 you just fucking die or something. But, um, I believe it's different in this game than it is to Fallout 4, because in Fallout 4, that just limits how much health you can have. I'm guessing this eventually starts doing the same, but... I don't know. Alright. Where does this take me exactly? Yeah. Stairwell. Not at this point. Probably not gonna actually bother grabbing just random shit. I don't really need it anymore. Well, I still do need it, but... You know, it's probably not gonna be worth it. I'm not here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah! Die. 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 Nope. They killed Huh. That was not how I was expecting. Expecting that to go at all, but uh, it did. So I'll, I'll, I'll fucking take it. Hello. Ah, Neutronic. That's what they used to look like. So once you fully repair something, you can't repair it anymore. Hello. I shall take that. No point in taking that though. Uh, elevator. Can I actually use the elevator? I bet it's broken, but it looks like it could be repaired. Why would I do such a thing? I thought the settlement shit was just in Fallout 4. Is, was it also in this game? I highly doubt it, but it might just be a thing of like, you get... Uh, oh, fuck off. Uh, oh, do I actually have the... Oh yeah, I fucking upgraded that in the, uh... Level 2 one. Alright, gotcha. Uh, but... I don't think the settlement system... Bullshit is in this game, but that's the only reason that I could think of as to why I would want to repair the elevator. But that might also just be like a side quest thing of like, hey, we're trying to get the town back together and like repair it and whatnot. So, I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's start with uh, started. Four out of seven correct. Okay. I'm just going to go with spammed. Oh! I did the thing! Yes! Uh, disengage lock. That's all I see, and that's all I need. Hello? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, hey, a lot of bottle caps. Ooh, 9 mil. Med X? That I'm never going to use, because I don't use meds in this game. R rarely do I ever. 
expired stim packs, so you can't just find them around. Um, yikes! What is my lockpick at? Because I got the one for the um the hacking, but I don't think I actually took lockpick just yet. No. Well, at least I can hack, which got me in here, but it isn't gonna get me any further. Fuck. I can see it's if nothing. Anyways, with me, like, crouching down all over the place, I'm just reminded of that one video. Oh, hello. No, no. Um, that one video of the guy just sort of fucking, like, I don't, I hesitate to say slide canceling, but it's like slide canceling in a fucking gym, just like fist up, ready to fight. I'll see if I can find that so I can actually put this in here so people know what the fuck I'm talking about, but like, I feel like I'm just doing that around the entire place, just way slower. Uh, maintenance door. Easy lock. Can't do it myself. I'm going to heal up, actually. I just realized how low my health is. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Uh, purified water. Sure. Uh, Adopino Pepper. Sure, why not? Another thing that I found out is that, like, if you drink two Sunset Sarsaparillas, they wouldn't do anything. It would just be the effects of one. Huh. Okay, then. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to use... Uh, I'll save off on that one. Oh. Nope. Stop moving around. Motherfucker. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What the hell is that thing? Okay. Okay. You can put your fist to cuffs up, but you won't use the fucking thing. There's an eye in my eye. Flamer fuel. Incinerator. Okay. Um. The fuck. Is that a weapon I can use? Uh, incinerator. Yes. Oh, it's an energy weapon. Bullshit. Do I need a certain amount of strength to do that? Is that what that's saying? Uh, strength of fire. Yes, okay. So I can't actually equip that, right? Oh, no, I can. So what is that? Whatever. Am I going to actually use that? I probably won't, but I'll keep it. I might as fucking well. I nearly died to the damn thing. I could at least keep it so I can use it on someone else. Uh, did I kill one more guy? I thought I did. And we're taking over there. Can't meet the Brahmin. Which, um... Why wouldn't you just cut that up into multiple pieces? And make it so much fucking easier? Plus, why are the heads still sticking up? Surely they would... Stop questioning the logic of a game that's way too fucking old. Actually, no, it's like... This game was released in 2010. Like, am I the only one that can't fucking believe that? Ooh. Ah, Deputy Beagle. It's good to finally meet you. Uh, oh. I think that's just the other side of the door that I saw earlier. Okay. Never mind. I believe that is this place cleared out and progress officially made. Hello, Deputy Beagle. You seem to have seen better days. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. Nope. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Ah, you must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Mm, nah. Alright, anyways. Uh... I mean, I... I would set him free, but I would also tell him, like, hey, I'm looking for information on the cons and the guy in the checkered suit, but, you know. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Understandable. Uh, what? If you try to run away instead of fighting by my side, I'll kill you myself. I've already done the fight. Like, fucking... Can I just... Can I exit this conversation? I want to exit this conversation. Please. Uh, I think I have speech 25. I, I wouldn't threaten him. I, whatever. Just. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. 
but I'd only slow you down. See you outside. Wait, before you go. Apologies, but I'm quite busy until I reach safety. Well, this is fucking bullshit. Oh, uh, I guess. Okay, music, you can calm the fuck down now. Where? Oh. Wait, hold on. Is this like the front entrance area? I suppose it is. I guess we'll just talk to you eventually. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking you didn't do jack shit. Situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? I don't care for credit, but I care even less about egotistical bitches. Don't make me think twice about having saved your ass from them. Anyways, I came here for information about the uh, cons and the guy in the checkered suit, and I heard that you would have information on him. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? Yeah. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Nipton to Novak. Hey, 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 I, well, I'm not done Hello with again. you. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Uh, aren't, aren't you the sheriff now? Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. Yes, but if the head of that chain of command... Power is then given to the next guy in that chain, and the next guy in that chain is the deputy, which is you. Why am I fucking arguing with this dumbass? Like, I obviously... Whatever, I'll fucking... What are the qualifications? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Something about supplies and whatever. Also, is that Myers guy a prisoner? Or, like, just a guard or what not? Uh, could I not help bring Law and Order back to Prem? You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. No. I thought I could be the sheriff. Why? Why is that red? Is that because I would have to break into a place? I'm hmm. not entirely sure. Alright, well, that, I guess, is done? I nearly said bagel. No, it's beagle. Yes? Yes. Right? I think so. Oh, God. It's Angel and Angle all over again. No. Uh, Beagle wants a new sheriff. Prim, he suggested an ex-sheriff ex at NCR. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go with the NCR, because, well, considering the fact that they didn't want to bother doing anything here, and I, with a 9 mil fucking shot off the place and was able to free the deputy. I don't trust him. Uh, Novak through Nipson. Let's actually see where on the map that is. If anywhere. Uh, that's Novak. Oh, Sloan's right there. Oh, uh, I asked someone in Good Springs about, like, nearby towns and Sloan popped up. I'm vilified by the NCR Correctional Facility. At least, oh, there's Nipton. Are we after Nipton? No. We're there. Why did I ask the question of if we're at Nipton when we're obviously in Prim? What the f- I- In my defense, I'm kind of fucking retarded. Uh, so I guess we'll be heading to Nipton after this, but I want to try to get a deputy in this place as fast as I can. Because I don't know if- If, um, Powder Gangers will come back eventually, so. That might be why it's red for me. 
because I'm considered a uh, bad guy to them, so. Alright, I'm gonna just travel back to Good Springs and uh, sell the shit at Chet's, and then we'll head to the NCRCF, I guess. I wasn't expecting Prim to be that easy after the entire thing. Am I changing the difficulty? You're goddamn right I'm not. <laughs> I... Look, all right, look, I'm here to enjoy some games and suck some dick, and I'm all out of the games. I... Wait, no, fuck, I... Let's just sell some shit. Do you ever wish you could just shoot yourself in the fucking face? <laughs> because I... I kinda need a place to store all my shit, actually. I don't know if storing my shit in the gas station would be the safest of options, but... Uh, I mean, it's not really a lot of shit that I really care about. It's pretty much just like, hey, I need some weight off my shoulders so I can actually loot some more shit, so... You know. Alright, this is all the shit that I'm keeping in here. Um, hopefully it doesn't disappear, because I know there are such things as, uh... Unsafe boxes or storage things in games like that Bethesda make, so... Hopefully that shit doesn't disappear, but if it does... Eh. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm actually going to leave this video off here, because, uh... Well, I've now been recording for over an hour, which... It definitely doesn't feel like that. But I guess when you're actually not suffering every second of the recording session, then, uh... Well, I guess things aren't so bad. Real quickly, as I head up here for the after screen. Uh, the... Idea that I had that I mentioned earlier... I'm actually gonna record that after this. But I don't know when it's going to be released, because I'm... Not 100% sure on how I'm going to edit it all together and how it's going to work. Because it's going to be another series. Like, kind of like this, actually. Well, actually, it's going to be fucking pretty much like this. But, um, a little bit different. And you will see what I mean when it eventually comes out. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next video whenever and whatever that shall be. See you.